Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Shazam! Fury of the Gods is a 2023 American superhero film based on the DC Comics character Shazam. Produced by New Line Cinema, DC Studios, and The Saffron Company, and distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures, it is the sequel to Shazam! and the 12th installment in the DC Extended Universe. Directed by David F. Sandberg, produced by Peter Safran, and written by Henry Gaydon and Chris Morgan, it stars Zachary Levi, Asher Angel, Jack Dylan Grazer, Rachel Zegler, Adam Brody, Ross Butler, DJ Katrona, Grace Caroline Curry, Megan Good, Lucy Liu, Jaiman Hansu and Helen Mirren. In the film, Billy Batson, Shazam and his foster siblings fight the daughters of Atlas. A sequel to Shazam began development shortly after that film's release in April 2019, with Gaiden returning as writer, and Morgan joining soon after to revise Gaiden's screenplay. Sandberg and Levi were also set to return by that December. The title and the rest of the returning cast were confirmed in August 2020, with Zegler, Mirren and Lou cast as the Daughters of Atlas in early 2021. Filming began that May in Atlanta, Georgia, and concluded in August. Shazam! Fury of the Gods premiered at the Fox Village Theater in the Westwood neighborhood of Los Angeles on March 14, 2023, and was theatrically released in the United States on March 17. The film received mixed reviews from critics, who considered it inferior to its predecessor. It severely underperformed at the box office, grossing just $128 million worldwide against a production budget of $110 minus $125 million. Plot. Two years after Thaddeus Savannah's defeat, Hespera and Calypso, two of the daughters of the Titan Atlas, break into the Acropolis Museum in Athens, Greece to steal the wizard's broken staff. They take it to the wizard, imprisoned in the god's realm, and force him to repair the staff and reactivate its powers. In Philadelphia, Billy Batson and his, Shazamily, of foster siblings save people on the collapsing Benjamin Franklin Bridge, but are called out for its destruction. The group is drifting apart at home as they grow up and having personal interests. Billy is worried about being kicked out of the Vasquez family when he, ages out, of the foster system. In a dream, the wizard warns Billy about the daughters, prompting the Shazamily to begin researching them. Freddie Freeman, still bullied at school, falls for a new girl named Anne, to whom he shows off his superhero self. Hespera and Calypso arrive with the staff and steal Freddie's powers, and Anne is revealed to be their youngest sister, Anthea. Billy and the Shazamily attempt to save Freddie, but the daughters kidnap him and place an indestructible dome around the city, trapping everyone inside. Freddie is imprisoned with the wizard in the god's realm. The daughters reveal that they want revenge because the wizard killed their father. Meanwhile, the Shazamily enter the Rock of Eternity, where they encounter a sentient pen named Steve, which they use to draft a letter to Hespera as a negotiation for Freddy's release. Billy meets Hespera, and, while the meeting is initially cordial, she and Calypso soon fight the Shazamily. Pedro loses his powers during the fight, while Hespera is captured and taken to the rock. Hespera easily breaks out and steals the golden apple, the seed of the Tree of Life. Meanwhile, Freddy and the wizard attempt to escape the god's realm with a sympathetic Anthea's help, just as Hespera returns with the apple. The daughters argue as Hespera and Anthea want to use the apple to revive their realm, while Calypso wishes to plant it on Earth to destroy it. Freddy steals the apple but is discovered. Billy and the Shazamily show up, and Freddy reacquires his powers. Billy and the Shazamily emerge with the wizard in the Vasquez home, where they reveal their secret identities to their foster parents. Calypso appears with a dragon named Layden to acquire the apple. All but Billy lose their powers in the skirmish, while Calypso retrieves the apple and uses it to plant the tree at Citizens Bank Park which spawns monsters to attack the city. Hespera and Anthea object to their sister's destructive plan, but Calypso mortally wounds Hespera and depowers Anthea. Billy, in despair, asks the wizard to take back his powers, but the wizard assures him he is a true hero who is worthy of them. Heeding the wizard's words, Billy flies off to stop Calypso, while the Shazamily enlists the help of unicorns to fend off the other monsters. Meanwhile, Billy persuades a dying Hespera to help him stop Calypso. Realizing the dome reacts violently to his lightning, Billy lures Calypso to the park while Hespera shrinks the dome to contain them. Billy fights Calypso and Layden before killing them both by overloading the staff with electricity, destroying the tree and Calypso's army with them, at the cost of his own life. Hespera acknowledges Billy as a true god before succumbing to her wounds. Anthea takes Billy's grieving family to the god's realm for his burial. Diana Prince, the last living being with godly powers, appears and repairs the staff, imbuing it with her power and using it to revive the god's realm and Anthea's powers, and to resurrect Billy. Billy in turn uses the staff to restore his siblings' powers. The Shazamily rebuild their home while Anthea and the wizard take up residence on Earth. In a mid-credits scene, Amelia Harcourt and John Economos attempt to recruit Billy into the Justice Society on behalf of Amanda Waller. In a post-credits scene, a still-incarcerated Savannah encounters Mr. Mind once again, infuriated that he has not begun enacting their plan. Cast Zachary Levi and Asher Angel as Billy Batson, Shazam! The champion of an ancient wizard, 
who possesses the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Jack Dylan Grazer and Adam Brody as Frederick, Freddie, Freeman. Billy's physically disabled foster brother, who is a fan of superheroes. Grazer portrays Freddie's regular form, while Brody portrays his adult superhero form. Rachel Zegler is Anthea, Anne, the youngest daughter of Atlas, who has reality manipulation abilities. Ross Butler and Ian Chen as Eugene Choi. Billy's younger foster brother who is an obsessive gamer, Butler portrays Eugene's adult superhero form, while Chen portrays his regular form. DJ Katrona and Jovan Armand as Pedro Peña. Billy's older foster brother, who is openly gay, shy and sensitive. Katrona portrays Pedro's adult superhero form, while Armand portrays his regular form. Grace Caroline Curry as Mary Bromfield. Billy's mature and academically driven older foster sister, Curry also portrays Mary's adult superhero form, replacing Michelle Borth from the first film. Megan Good and Faith Herman as Darla Dudley. Billy's good-natured younger foster sister, Good portrays Darla's adult superhero form, while Herman portrays her regular form. Lucy Liu as Calypso, the middle daughter of Atlas, who has the power of chaos. Jaimin Hansu as Shazam, the last surviving member of the Council of Wizards, who bestowed his powers on Billy Batson, after designating the boy as his champion. Helen Mirren as Hespera, the oldest daughter of Atlas, who has elemental abilities. Billy's foster family also includes Marta Milans and Cooper Andrews as Rosa and Victor Vazquez, the foster parents of Billy and his siblings. Reprising their DCEU roles in the film while uncredited, Gal Gadot appears as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, alongside Jennifer Holland as Amelia Harcourt and Steve Agee as John Economos in the mid-credits scene and Mark Strong as Dr. Thaddeus Savannah and director David F. Sandberg as the voice of Mr. Mind in the post credit scene. Sandberg also cameos as a civilian who is attacked by one of Calypso's monsters. Rizwan Manji, who portrayed Jamil in the DCEU television series Peacemaker, appears as an unnamed docent. PJ Byrne briefly appears as Dr. Dario Bava, a pediatrician whom Billy confused as a therapist, while Diedrich Batter briefly appears as Mr. Geckel, a schoolteacher. Sandberg's wife Lotta Lawson, who previously portrayed Dr. Lynn Crosby in the first film, cameos as a nurse who is saved by Shazam. Michael Gray, who portrayed Billy Batson in the 1970s television series, makes a brief cameo as a man on the street. Natalia Safran, wife of producer Peter Safran, cameos as a driver with kittens. CNN news anchor Wolf Blitzer makes a cameo appearance as himself. Production. Development. With the successful opening of Shazam, in April 2019, Henry Gaiden was revealed to be returning to write the script for a sequel. Director David F. Sandberg and producer Peter Safran were also expected to return. According to Sandberg, the plot point of Fawcett City, Philadelphia being trapped under a dome was inspired by the Simpsons movie. Later that month, Michelle Borth, who portrayed the adult superhero form of Mary Bromfield in the first film, said she signed a five-picture deal for the role and was expected to return for at least one sequel. Zachary Levi confirmed in June that he was returning to star as Shazam in the sequel, and revealed that writing had begun ahead of a planned filming start in mid-2020. Sandberg and much of the first film's crew were confirmed to return in December 2019, when New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Pictures scheduled the sequel for release on April 1, 2022. This was delayed in April 2020 to November 4, 2022. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, in October 2020, the release date was once again shifted to June 2, 2023. Later release dates were December 16, 2022 and December 21, 2022. In August 2022, the final release date of March 17, 2023 was announced. Pre-production. In June 2020, Marta Milans confirmed that she would reprise her role as foster mother Rosa Vazquez from the first film, and revealed that filming had been delayed by the pandemic. The film's title was revealed to be Shazam! Fury of the Gods during the virtual DC FanDome event in August 2020, with returning cast members confirmed including Asher Angel as teenager Billy Batson and Levi as his adult superhero counterpart, Jack Dylan Grazer as Frederick, Freddie, Freeman and Adam Brody as his adult counterpart, Faith Herman as Darla Dudley and Megan Good as her adult counterpart. Grace Fulton as Mary Bromfield, Ian Chen as Eugene Choi and Ross Butler as his adult counterpart, and Jovan Armand as Pedro Peña with DJ Catrona as his adult counterpart. The next month, Levi said filming would begin in early 2021. The film's release was delayed again in October 2020, to June 2, 2023. The following month, Mark Strong said he was waiting to hear if he would be returning as Dr. Thaddeus Savannah in the sequel. In January 2021, Good said filming would begin that May and Rachel Zegler was cast in an undisclosed, key role, the next month. Following her exhaustive filming schedule for Maria in West Side Story, Zegler booked a meeting with the DCEU casting director Rich Delia, who was thinking about her for Kara Zor-El, Supergirl in The Flash. Zegler lost out to Sasha Kaye, but Delia told her that he thought that she could audition for Anthea in the Shazam sequel.
During the COVID-19 pandemic, Ziegler read on for the role through Zoom with Sandberg and Dylan Grazer, doing a chemistry test with the latter, who was instrumental in her casting due to Safran giving him the option to choose and Dylan Grazer chose Ziegler out of admiration for her work in the West Side Story remake. Safran was producing the film through his company The Safran Company, while Jeff Johns was also set to produce. Johns was ultimately credited as an executive producer. In March, Helen Mirren was cast as Hespera, a daughter of Atlas, with Ziegler reported to be playing Hespera's sister, Anthea. Lucy Liu was cast as Calypso, another daughter of Atlas, the next month. Strong said in May that he would not appear in the sequel, and Cooper Andrews was confirmed to reprise his role as foster father Victor Vazquez from the first film. Chris Morgan contributed to the film's script. Early during the film's development, Sandberg wanted to bring back Mr. Mind, a villainous character teased in the mid-credits scene of the first film whom Sandberg voiced, for the sequel in a bigger role, but his inclusion was ultimately dropped due to it requiring too much of the film's runtime, aside that he had to drop several other elements to not overstuff the film. In addition to bringing Gal Gadot back as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, Sandberg initially planned to have cameo appearances of Kal-El, Clark Kent, Superman and Bruce Wayne, Batman by showing Superman unsuccessfully trying to break the dome while Batman just stands there and looks at Superman. Filming. Principal photography began on May 26, 2021, in Atlanta, Georgia, with Guy Pato serving as cinematographer. Production on the film was delayed from an initial mid-2020 start due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In June, Sandberg revealed that Fulton was also portraying the adult superhero form of Mary in the film, replacing Borth, with Fulton's hair and makeup adjusted for the superhero version. A month later, set photos revealed that Jaiman Hansu would be reprising his role as the wizard Shazam. Filming concluded on August 31, 2021. Post-production. In March 2022, Warner Brothers adjusted its release schedule due to the impacts of COVID-19 on the workload of visual effects vendors. The Flash and Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom were moved from 2022 to 2023 to allow time for their visual effects work to be completed, while Shazam! Fury of the Gods was moved up to Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom's previous release date of December 16, 2022, because it would be ready for release earlier. In April, the film's release date was pushed back five days to December 21 to avoid competition with Avatar, The Way of Water. Rizwan Manji was revealed to be appearing as an unnamed character in July 2022. Manji was suggested for the role by Safran, who also produced the DCEU television series Peacemaker in which Manji portrayed Jamil. Sandberg approved the casting, despite the series being set in the same universe as the film, because he thought Manji only had a small role in Peacemaker. He was surprised to learn that Manji has a significant role and appears in the opening title sequence of the series. Peacemaker creator James Gunn suggested that Manji's character in Fury of the Gods could be Jamil's brother. In August, after Warner Media merged with Discovery, Inc. to form Warner Brothers Discovery, the studio delayed the film to March 17, 2023, to help spread out the marketing and distribution costs for its feature films. This also moved Fury of the Gods away from Avatar, The Way of Water. By the start of November, Sandberg confirmed that the final cut was complete and ready for release. The final wave of the film's marketing campaign revealed Gal Gadot's cameo appearance as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman, reprising her role from prior DCEU. Sandberg was upset by this reveal, as he intended the cameo to be a surprise. The film's mid credit scene sees Jennifer Holland and Steve Agee reprise their DCEU roles as Amelia Harcourt and John Economos. This scene was originally the post credit scene of Shazam! spin-off film Black Adam, and featured members of the Justice Society of America from that film, but Black Adam star Dwayne Johnson vetoed both moves, forcing Safran to bring in Holland and Agee. Strong and Sandberg reprise their roles in the film's post credit scene. The visual effects were made by DNEG, Pixomondo, Stereo D, Weta FX, Territory Studio, Method Studios, Static Chair Productions, Rise VFX, and Scanline VFX. Music. In June 2022, Sandberg revealed that composer Benjamin Walfish was unable to return from the first film due to scheduling conflicts. His replacement Christoph Beck and had already begun work by then. A single, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, was released as a digital single by Watertower Music on February 23, 2023, and the soundtrack album was released on March 10. Marketing. Sandberg promoted the sequel during a virtual panel at the August 2020 DC Fan Dome event, announcing the film's title and returning cast. In June 2021, after a week of filming, Sandberg released a short clip featuring Levi in his new costume for the film. This came after several set photos of the costume were leaked that week. To head off of further costume leaks, Sandberg released images of Levi, Brody, Good, Curry, Butler and Katrona in their new superhero costumes at the end of the month. Behind-the-scenes footage and concept art was revealed during the 2021 DC Fan Dome event in October, with io9's Rob Bricken and Collider's Gregory Lawrence expressing excitement at the new cast members, characters, locations and mythology. Levi, Angel, Grazer and Mirren promoted the film at Warner Brothers' CinemaCon panel in April 2022, where new footage was shown. 
The film was also promoted at San Diego Comic-Con in July, where the first trailer was released. On March 14, Skittles partnered with Warner Brothers and DC Studios to create commercials for the film. McFarland Toys also partnered to create promotional toys, including action figures and dolls. Release. Theatrical. Shazam! Fury of the Gods premiered at Fox Village Theater in Hollywood on March 14, 2023, and was released by Warner Brothers Pictures in the United States on March 17, 2023. It was originally set for release on April 1, 2022 before being delayed to November 4, 2022, and then to June 2, 2023, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was then moved up to December 16, 2022, as it was ready for release sooner than other DC films delayed by the pandemic. That date was previously given to Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. The release date was pushed back five days to December 21st in April 2022 to avoid competing with 20th Century Studios' Avatar. The Way of Water, before being moved to Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom's date again in August 2022 when Warner Brothers Discovery was trying to spread out marketing and distribution costs. This meant IMAX screens occupied by Avatar would be available for Shazam. Home Media Shazam! Fury of the Gods was released on premium video on demand services on April 7, 2023. 10 days earlier than its scheduled April 17th release date. Reception. Box office. As of April 11, 2023, Shazam! Fury of the Gods has grossed $56.9 million in the United States and Canada, and $71.4 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $128.3 million. It has been labeled a box office bomb. In the United States and Canada, Shazam! Fury of the Gods was initially projected to gross $35 dollars 40 million from 4,071 theaters in its opening weekend. The film made $11.7 million, lowering weekend estimates to $30 million. It went on to debut to $30.1 million, topping the box office but marking a 43% drop from the first film's opening weekend and the third worst of the DCEU. Box office pro Sean Robbins called the debut, a soft start, there's no other way to put it, noting the recent underperformances of other comic book films. The Hollywood Reporter called the domestic opening, one of the worst starts for a major Hollywood superhero film, and also lamented the film's $35 million international opening from 78 countries. The AV Club noted that it premiered on a weekend where other films experienced dull box office numbers. In its second weekend, the film dropped 69% to $9.3 million, finishing second behind newcomer John Wick, Chapter 4. It made $4.6 million in its third weekend, dropping to sixth place. Critical Response on the review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, 50% of 230 critics' reviews are positive, with an average rating of 5.610. The website's consensus reads, more unfocused and less satisfying than its predecessor, Shazam! Fury of the Gods still retains almost enough of the source material's silly charm to save the day. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the film a score of 47 out of 100, based on 49 critics, indicating, mixed or average reviews. Audiences surveyed by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B+, on an A+, to F scale, while those polled by PostTrack gave it a 78% positive score, with 64% saying they would definitely recommend it. Frank Sheck of The Hollywood Reporter gave the film a mixed review, writing, Like some children who aren't so cute anymore after they've grown up a little, this follow-up lacks much of the appeal of its predecessor. While the film provides the elaborate action set pieces, colorful villains and save-the-world plot mechanics expected of the comic book movie genre, some of the magic is missing. Chicago Sun-Times's Richard Roper gave the film two out of four stars, writing, As we pick up Billy, Shazam's story about four years later, it quickly becomes apparent this is just going to be a by-the-numbers, second-tier adventure with only a few small chuckles and one or two genuinely touching moments. The rest is just noise. Future. In January 2023, DC Studio CEO James Gunn said that he was interested in retaining Levi and other select DCEU cast members for the upcoming DC Universe, which is intended to succeed and soft-reboot the DCEU. However, Sandberg said in February 2023 that Levi's future in the DCU could depend on the reception of Fury of the Gods.